Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're going to analyze as usual the Bitcoin price. We're also going to have a look into Ethereum and at the end also into the DXY and Nasdaq. So a new pattern is on the horizon for Bitcoin my friends. So we're going to have a look into that. And before we're going to start with that, just for your information, I have closed all my longs yesterday with that uh, sell signal that we got in the three hour time frame in my own indicator so keep in mind that if you also want to trade uh, bitcoin and other cryptos with my own indicator you can get it through discord you just have to send me here a private message because a small donation is needed in order to get access to it otherwise just get a youtube membership directly here so yesterday i told you my friends that i was in a long position because of this uh, buy signal i closed it up here and right now in the four hour time frame it looks like that we are forming here this symmetrical triangle angle we can see that better if we switch over into the lines chart so yesterday the support here at the 20 moving average in the four hour didn't hold as a support and i told you my friends that if here we're gonna get that huge support at the 20 moving average in the four hour and also from the ema ribbons we most likely are going to see a big pump up towards 45k and maybe even break this main resistance that we have in front of us but it didn't happen we crashed below and right now we are getting supported by this green trend line at around 41,600 dollars so this symmetrical triangle will break out here in the next one or two days and we can also do a measurement where this breakout could take us potentially because if we're going to see a breakout to the upside which in my opinion is still possible then this could take us above this resistance trend line and in that case we could come back up here to test at 47k and then we're going to see if this is going to end up in a lower high compared to this one here at around 49k or if we can start an uptrend here in the four hour and then of course also in the daily time frame so that would be the bullish scenario if here we're going to see a breakout to the upside and if we're going to break out to the downside then the target would be down here at the main support of this uh, channel in which bitcoin is still in here in the bigger scale like the daily time frame and the support is down here currently at around thirty-seven thousand dollars. and i think that price target is still possible if here we're going to see a breakout to the downside because uh, this of course would be the target and of course uh, also this is perfectly matching with our main support that we still have down here so this breakout out of the symmetrical triangle will tell us if 47k is next or 37k is next and uh, until then i think that we are just going to bounce here up and down between support and resistance support is currently here at around 41,600 dollars and the resistance is still up here at around 44k and uh, i am going to open up most likely here at around 41k another long position but only if here in the next coming hours we are getting a buy signal in my own indicator then i'm going to take this long opportunity but if you are taking this trade then make sure to put a stop loss or take profits as soon as we are attacking again this resistance at around 44k because it is still possible that afterwards we're getting again rejected and fall down again and have the bearish breakout but of course if then we would see the bullish break out playing out then uh, of course uh, we would sit in a very nice uh, juicy position if we long tier the support and then afterwards if we have that breakout to the upside of course like that you can do a lot of gains especially if you're trading here on delta exchange and keep in mind that if you also want to trade all kind of cryptos up to 100x leverage then delta exchange is the place for you because here you can also get up to thirty thousand dollars in trading bonus if you use my sign up link that you can also find here in the video description and right now there is also a trading event going on where you can win up to twenty five thousand dollars so make sure to trade right now over on delta exchange because like that you also have a bit more chance to win a bit more money if you're profitable so in the lower time frames i expect that here we're going to bounce up and down in this symmetrical triangle and until the breakout of course you can do some scalp trades here but uh, the big breakout will come here in the next uh, coming days for sure and why i still expect that we have the chance to have a positive breakout to the upside and maybe even break this main resistance up here at around 45k is because we got a buy signal in my own indicator and also we are coming very close to the 100 daily moving average here at around 41k which last time also acted as a support so it is possible that at least here we're getting a bounce to the upside and then we're going to see what will happen up here 
in the EMA ribbons right at the resistance at around 45k because once this is broken we definitely have the chance here to reverse the trend and start to create higher highs and higher lows in the daily time frame but for now we still have lower highs and lower lows which is of course bearish the trend is still shifted to the downside here in the daily scale and as long as we are within this uh, channel with the support currently at around 37k there is still this chance that we're going to stay for some more days within this channel and therefore expect continuation to the downside but everything is pointing out that we could see very soon a bounce uh, only if here money flow is going into negative then i will start to get a bit more bearish but as long as we can keep above the 100 daily moving average we still have chances for a nice bounce to the upside and what we also have to check out on the daily scale is of course the Keltner channels because as soon as we have a daily close below the bottom of the Keltner channels we are in danger same like here because whenever we're closing daily candles below the bottom of the Keltner channels we always see big drops and that's why if today we're going to close below 42k the risk is also there that we could easily fall at least down towards 37k and therefore also close below the bottom of the Bollinger Bands which currently is at around $40,000 so keep a very close I where we are going to close today because if it's going to be below 42k the chance is high that in the next coming days we will see uh, this bearish breakout playing out out of this symmetrical triangle and therefore come down to at least test this support down here again at around 37k which is also coinciding with the support trend line that we had previously as a resistance here and afterwards it acted as a support so if we are dropping down here important is that we're not closing again daily candles below 37k because otherwise uh, we could easily retest the low 30s again and if we go over into the weekly time frame here after the sell signal that we got we tested successfully the 20 weekly moving average and so far it held as a support and right now it's here at around forty thousand five hundred dollars so also here at the 20 weekly moving average at around 40k we should have enough support latest here at the 50 weekly moving average also at around 40k we should also there have enough support so we are right where we should have enough support here for bitcoin to have a big bounce to the upside again and hopefully also here start an uptrend with higher lows and higher highs because if here we are losing this main support on the weekly time frame and we start to close weekly candles below the 50 weekly moving average or also below the EMA ribbons then things will start to look very bearish here especially on the weekly scale and therefore we should be prepared for more weeks and months with more pressure to the downside and probably also go below the lows here from $28,000. I still expect that Bitcoin will have a big bounce here and could reverse the trend here on the daily and weekly time frame but until then we are still in this critical point where we have to decide if here we are able to create a higher low or if we're going to continue the trend with lower highs and lower lows so on the daily and weekly time frame we are still in a downtrend and we still have to be very cautious here but uh, what we have to focus right now is here in the lower time frames because the breakout out of the symmetrical triangle will definitely tell us if we're gonna see again this 47k area and potentially change the trend at least here in the lower time frames first and later on in the daily and weekly time frame or if we're gonna continue the downtrend here for the next coming hours days and weeks so this breakout is going to be important the upside target is 47 k the downside target is 37k and wherever bitcoin is going of course all of the altcoins will follow especially ethereum here so ethereum right now is again on this main support out of this fibonacci retracement level so if we're going to have a daily close below 2900 dollars also here it is possible that we're coming down again to test the 100 or 200 daily moving average between 2770 and 2640 dollars and also here we got several buy signals if we don't see a pump here in the next coming days things will start to look also ugly here for ethereum because if we're going to lose the 100 and 200 daily moving average as a support we could see a huge waterfall to the downside especially if bitcoin is going to fall down towards 37k so let's hope that bitcoin is able to have a bullish breakout to the upside otherwise here for ethereum things could really start to look ugly again and if we're going to lose here the 200 daily moving average as a support again we could see a very quick and fast move down again towards this support area at around two thousand four hundred dollars because that would be the next support level for ethereum if we're going to lose these supports that we have currently here at around two thousand seven hundred to two thousand six hundred dollars 
and uh, why I still expect a positive breakout pretty soon is of course because of Nasdaq because even though we had here a huge rejection out of these uh, EMA events and of course also from the 20 daily moving average I still expect that here we're gonna see very soon a big bounce to the upside and hopefully also break the 20 daily moving average because right now we are getting very much support here at around $15,000 so if we don't have daily closes below $15,000 we still have the chance of a big bounce to the upside because money flow is still positive and we are quite oversold so we have the chance to see a big bounce to the upside and the opposite goes for the DXY even though we got here a sell signal right now the DXY is still pumping and if we're going to close above these highs that we had here at around $93.57 then things could start to look a bit bearish for us and also for the stock market because in that case we would continue the trend here with higher lows and higher highs for the DXY and that of course would be bearish for us but if we're going to have in the next coming days and especially today a close below these highs here then we have chances here to at least have a correction down towards the bottom of the EMA ribbons since we are a bit overbought here and also we have in the lower time frames some bearish divergences and although if we go over into the weekly time frame you can see that this could be a potential bottom for the DXY although money flow is increasing here on the weekly scale but also here we are quite overbought and also we are coming very close to this huge resistance here at the 100 and 200 weekly moving average at around $94.32 so as soon as we are reaching those two moving averages I'm expecting big problems to push higher and therefore latest here uh, at least an initial sell-off before maybe the DXY is able to break out higher because this in my opinion looks like a perfect double bottom formation and although you can see that money flow since a couple of weeks is increasing so if here money flow is turning into positive here for the next coming weeks and months we should expect the DXY to break out higher and therefore also go again above the 100 and 200 weekly moving average and that could be of course a big dangerous sign for the crypto and stock market that a bigger correction is overdue and that's why we have to keep a very close eye here what is going on in the next coming weeks for the DXY but once we are reaching uh, these two moving averages on the weekly scale I think that at least an initial rejection here we should expect and therefore we could see some more pumps in the crypto and stock market but if the DXY is able again to close weekly candles above those two moving averages then things will start to look very ugly here for the crypto and stock market in the next coming weeks and months so we are still in a very critical point we're gonna have to check especially the daily and weekly time frame in several assets not only in the crypto market but we also have to check out what is going on over on Nasdaq and the DXY that's why you are subscribed into this channel but for now we're gonna stay focused here in the lower time frames and we're gonna trade here this breakout that is upcoming here in the lower time frames and if you want to trade with my own indicator then make sure to contact me here directly on discord the link is in the video description and and otherwise just get a YouTube membership all right my friends and with that said I'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye